Alrighty guys, Jess on Strider here. Welcome back to another episode of LSPD F and R. As you can see, we're back with Samantha Martinez. We're gonna be doing some more private security stuff, but uh, the private security stuff is gonna be uh, changing a little bit. As you can see, we no longer have the Groupie Six set up here because uh, the Security Plus mod that I used. Apparently, there's like a little compatibility notice when you go onto the mod page saying something about the Community Script Hook mod being broken. And there's no fix for it right now, so instead of trying to figure out how to make it work, I went snooping around the LSPD4 website. I found this little pack of Securoser vehicles that use the vanilla models, classes in session. Uh, they're non-ELS, so it's kind of like the police bikes we have. They're non-ELS, but they also don't have sirens equipped on them because it's a security vehicle, obviously they wouldn't. And, uh, yes, uh, Samantha Martinez has a little bit of a change in employment here because of the, uh, death of the Security Plus mod, I suppose, or I guess temporary, uh, hiatus of the Security Plus mod. It hasn't been updated since it, like, first came out, so I'm not surprised that it's having compatibility issues, but... Uh, this, uh, uniform is from the default EUP... Uh, if you go to Serve and Rescue, Private Security, we have Securo Serve right here. I'm using the Class A uniform, but I have a modified version of the Class A uniform that have a holster on it so I can still be an armed security officer. Because as this San Andreas, I'm not going to do unarmed security in this fucking state. That's just not going to happen. The uh, vehicle pack is just like a Securo Serve vehicle pack. They have a few different liveries for different areas around the city, which is kind of cool. This one right here is a uh, is a electric vehicle. It has no exhaust and all that stuff. There's also a Scout, which is kind of like an Explorer clone. And then there's the Taurus. So they use vanilla vehicles, and you know it's just the just the lights. And they have, I mean, they look decent for what they are. So. I look forward to uh, checking out the different libraries and all that stuff. But for today, we are jumping in. We are going to be doing a University of San Andreas or University of Los Santos uh, security patrol. Maybe somebody will try to steal fucking cars. But I know there's a parking lot up there that we can check out. But uh, without further delay, enough talking. Let's jump in and see what happens. Holy shit. I just started. I just started, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, this vehicle definitely has been smashed in. Let's go ahead, we can give it a search, I guess, because it has been broken into? Weird. Get a vehicle check on it, I guess. Target vehicle license plate. Zero three, Adam, Adam, yeah, I mean, zero, well, zero, eight. we'll go ahead and get it towed, Approach with just caution. for the, uh, Assistance required Richmond. just because it, it looks like it's been tampered with, and LEO are probably going to want it for a, uh, investigation and stuff. I, like, I'm pretty sure that this, uh, parking lot is technically like the university parking lot so we're gonna say that we can uh be here as part of university campus patrol and i, I just started too it's a shame that the culprit fled or something maybe they saw me rolling up after they smashed the window and they ran so uh we'll uh let, let it get towed and let uh elio take uh, over the investigation on that one but uh, we'll be going back code four and ten eight Oh, come on, you were right here, man. Oh my god, is this one also being fucking stolen? Okay, man. Hey! Hey! Yeah, we got one running, we got a carjacking suspect fleeing. Dude! Get the fuck on the ground! I... Okay. Interesting. Bro! Get on the ground. You can't just steal a vehicle and walk off like nothing ever happened, man. 
I technically don't have a you taser have on this gun belt, but up. whatever. Why the hell hasn't this fucking tow truck figured out its life yet? There we go, finally. Finally picked up the last one. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and release you here. I'm going to see if I can maybe angle my vehicle a little bit because we have to notify Elio that we just caught a carjacking suspect and the vehicle vanished. Okay. Roger that. We're on our way. Oh, look at that. I looked away and he fucking magically teleported here. Thanks for coming, my guy. Hey, how's it going, officer? So we just caught this uh, carjacking suspect. He was just kind of... Uh, I was just dealing with a vehicle that was just I'll broken into. And this guy decided to steal a vehicle right in front of me. So uh, if you can go ahead and just pat him down for me since you are the law enforcement officer. I haven't done anything like that. I just tased and apprehended the suspect and all that fun stuff. Alrighty, well... We're going to go ahead and get this guy for... Uh, theft? Vehicle... Crimes against property... Attempted Grand Theft Auto. There we go. Alright, you go ahead and take him in for me. Get this guy and off of the Richmond. campus grounds. And the, uh... I guess County Tow took the uh, took the vehicle for us, so we don't have to worry about that. So that guy's gonna go ahead and be taken into custody for his attempted Grand Theft Auto, and we'll be code four and back ten eight off of that back to back stolen vehicle. All right, we're pulling in here to the uh, little roundabout area. We're gonna go ahead and do a bit of a foot patrol around the campus. Probably shouldn't step in the grass. I don't think they'll really appreciate me stepping in the grass, but I don't know how else to get across in a timely manner. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go across the grass. Fuck it. I'm gonna just do a little bit of a foot patrol around. Make sure everybody's going about their business. Nobody's acting sketchy here, getting into fist fight, you know, smoking crack or something. You never know what it's like on uh, university grounds, especially in fucking San Andreas, so. We shall see. These individuals having a conversation here. <clears throat> I think I mentioned in the last uh, Groupie 6 episode that uh, these, are these like, private security, or I guess, well, not really. Yeah, I mean, well, Groupie 6 is corporate security. Secure server serve would be more private security, but I know in DOJ, like, Securo serve is, like, the private security sector of Groupie 6. So, yeah, Groupie 6 is the more public corporate security and then Securo serve as like VIP security but unfortunately I can't get security plus the work. Hey look is that we also speaking of security we have a uh, a local uh, security guard here. I don't think this guy's G6 though. Uh, security private security officer he seems to... Oh, no, he has a gun. Yeah, he's an armed security officer. Look at this. There we go. Securo serve and nameless security company working side by side. As I was saying, in uh, DOJ, my, the RP community I'm in, it's... Uh, you have G6, and then Securo Serve is the private VIP uh, offshoot of it, so. But of course, Security Plus isn't working, so gotta work with what I can here. 
But yeah, these Sekiro Serb uniforms do look kind of nice, though. It's like got that blue. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Murray Weather Security Officer uniforms from uh, DOJ. The ones that all the newbies in Merriweather have to wear. It's got that, like... Yeah, it's definitely got the blue of it. It's blue and gray in DOJ, but this is like a blue and white, so... And it still looks pretty good, though. I can't tell what that, uh... What that fucking badge says, though, on my chest. Apparently, my name's Vincent. My name is not Vincent. My name is, uh, Samantha Martinez, but... Limitation of the, uh, the mods and all that. an LSPD officer. Oh god, there's one of those bike units. I'll fix your uniform eventually, sir! I'm sorry! <laughs> oh god damn it, I really need to go into the I-9 and fix that shit. Because they have both the dirt bikes and the uh, sport bikes, but it's like... Editing I and I files is a pain in the ass. I just don't want to do it, but I really should. <laughs> make it more, make it look more legit. That's my security car up there. All right, it looks like we have a vehicle here that's parked in a red zone, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, roll up behind it and uh, probably take care of it. Go ahead, see if we can get a vehicle check on it. Get a. Uh, Get an RO, so we know who to cite. Target vehicle license plate. No insurance. Uh, the no insurance isn't our problem here. The fact that it's parked in the one... It's like perfectly placed in that uh, little red zone there. So we're going to go ahead and get a parking violation. We're going to get a parking in a no parking zone, because that's what the red curb means. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this on his little windshield here, so when he comes back out, he can go ahead and deal with Attention that. Attention, all units! A traffic hmm. alert! Vehicle in a ditch. Porta. That's in La Porta. I'm not gonna respond to that. I turned on the callers just to see if we can get something close by, worth our while, close by the uh, university, but I haven't gotten anything like that so far. So we'll just be code form back 108 on our security patrol. Why the hell are all these vehicles going off? But uh, we have this other vehicle parked in a red zone here. We're going to go ahead and flip on our lights and administer another ticket here. Uh, request vehicle check. Target vehicle license plate units. God damn it. Ah. Target is 10-4. Target can over herself here. Units respond code 2. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and print off another uh, parking violations. Parking in a new parking zone. Going to go ahead and stick this on his windshield here. And then I think we're going to go ahead and head back to the station and clock off for the day. Technically, there is no Securo Serp station, so we'll just go to the nearest police station and just... RP it out from there, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and clock off for the day. Alrighty, we are back at the station now to clock off for the day. These security patrols, as I said in the last G6 episode, they are a little bit slow, but I like doing them because you know, breaks the uh, shakes it up a little bit, breaks the uh, breaks the rhythm up a little bit. Gives us something new here. Uh, we're going to do our court case today. We have Jack Foot attempted Grand Theft Auto. One grand, one year in prison. Julia Rodriguez. I don't think that's a Julia there, but you know what? In this politically correct world, I can't uh, can't really... I uh, don't, don't want to assume anything. So, you know, parking in a no-park zone. Not guilty, no charges. Fuck you. And then uh, Rachel Evans. No parking in no parking zone. Find $100. All righty. We're going to go ahead and uh, 
clock off for the day. And there you go. That's going to be the new, uh, that's going to be kind of like the uh, Securo. Uh, that's going to be the Groupie 6 kind of replacement thing, at least until Security Plus has an update or something. And of course, because there is no Security Plus, we can't actually activate as Securo serve. We have to activate as Los Santos Police Department and just kind of pretend that we're activating a Securo serve. But uh, obviously, Links to the new vehicles will be in the description mod list below. And thank you all for watching this episode of Ellis Pretty Far, and I'll see you guys next time.